Tanner, can you talk a little bit about the connection that you have with Will Pauling and just what gives you that confidence when you're throwing the ball his way? Um, I think Will is uh, an all-around slot player. Um, he really, he's a very good route runner. Uh, he's a mismatch in a lot of instances, so I think that's what makes him great. One of the things that you did really well today is your ability to escape pressure and scramble. I know you've been able to show that before, but where do you think that developed for you, and how are you able to make those decisions to make the right decision? Um, I, I think it's pretty instinctual. I mean, when the bullets are flying, you got to make a quick decision to, uh, to run or throw it away or whatever, wherever the uh, defense presents. Um, yeah, I think it, it uh, poses a challenge for defense that you know if the play does break down, I can uh, make them make them hurt in the leg. So, is it something you think is maybe can be deceptive that people may not expect that from you? They think you're a pocket guy. I mean, if they watch film, they can see that I do it, but. Yeah, people still think it's I'm deceptively fast or whatever. I've heard that a million times, but uh, I don't know. I I think it's pretty instinctual. Uh, just trying to make a play for our, for our team. Tanner, you said earlier this week something to the effect of you know, Jackson Acres ready to go. You felt confident about him. What stood out to you today about his performance? I mean, I mean, I know you guys haven't seen him in action, uh, but I had no doubt that he was going to step up. You know, from the spring, summer, and fall, uh, he's done a great job. He's a really good back. He's going to be good for us going forward. With, Graham, with his work more today, how do you think he stepped up with Chase out and the offense uh, I mean, he did good. He had a good game. Um, yeah, like you said, he, he stepped up, carried a load. Uh, but I mean, he, he played like he always plays. Um, he had a great game, ran the ball well. So, yeah, he had a great game. Tanner, I apologize if you didn't ask this, but how do you decide if you have to extend the play a little bit? Or if, you're, if you sit running, I don't know. Whether to let the play play out, give the receivers time, or say, I got to trigger and go? Almost uh, every time I run, I've gone through uh, my progression. Okay. So um, I, I definitely think my progression first, try to get the ball to my guys because they're a lot better in space than I am. And if that doesn't work, then I, I just take off. Uh, he's uh, he's very savvy. He's uh, instinctual. He has good football instincts. Um, you know, he's just a good football player. A lot, a lot of a lot of uh, players can be, you know, athletic freaks, but don't have the instincts. Um, the savviness to be really good, and he, he has it all. So, um, yeah, that was a big play that he had. Going into halftime. With going back to him, just after that fumble, just how did you see? What did you see on the sideline? Did you see anything to him? Yeah. How do you feel you responded after that? I mean, he he responded just fine. I thought. I mean, he knows he messed up. There's nothing that he needed to tell him that he doesn't already know. That's already thinking in his head, you know. So I just told him, "Hey, I'm giving you the ball soon. You go back out there. So don't, don't worry about it. Uh, just keep doing your thing." Tim, just from the offense's perspective, do you think this offense? Still can be a little bit more efficient, but also in general, do you think the team is finding different ways to win games? Um, yeah, I agree. We find different ways to win. Um, but I, I definitely think we are making it hard on ourselves. I, I don't think uh, that game should have played out the way it did in, at the end. Um, Maybe the turnover and yeah, the turnover and just only scoring 17 points offensively. That's I mean, I didn't think it had to be that close. Um, so we're learning. We're gonna learn from it. Uh, get better going forward. We've talked to Tanner Bowman about the snaps. He's acknowledged he has to be better. How do you prepare for that? Yeah, I mean, you're nobody used to it now. I don't know. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I have no doubt he's gonna get better with the snaps. Um, you know, there's a few errant snaps in the game today, but. I mean, that's going to be a focus all week for him. I mean, there's, there's, it's nothing, like I said about Braylon and, and getting past the fumble, it's nothing that he doesn't already understand and, and want to be better at. You know, he's a, a very good football player, very smart, very competitive, and I know it drives him crazy that he's making it uh, a little bit harder on the offense with bad snaps. Um, so it's nothing that we have to explain to him. He, he wants to be better. He, I know he will be. And, um, I mean, he, he's doing a great job blocking. He's a phenomenal offensive lineman, so I have no doubt. Tim, talking about 
quarterback runs early. It seemed like the, the one game started early. Then you have the quarterback keeper and kind of, you know, uh, went from there. Were you calling for the quarterback keeper? Kind of, what was the, the shift in the battle involved as well? Um, are you talking about like a scramble? No, or just the design. Uh, it was a read. I pulled it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't. I think they kind of maybe maybe sparked something a little bit. Um, yeah, that's not design. I'd rather get the ball to Braylon Jackson, but maybe they take that away. I have to pull it and, and get what I can get. Um, but I mean, I think the guys up front did a great job. And, yeah, I, I wish we would have started faster. Uh, you know, got got on early uh, like we did last or two weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I think the I think the line had a good day overall.